Academy. Yeah, hello guys. Uh, how are you all? I hope you guys are doing well. So, by the way, I'm Paman Kumar, a senior chemistry faculty here. So, I'm very happy to announce you that uh, Harish Academy is going to launch a new batch for uh, JL Chemistry here. So, I'm a senior faculty. I would, okay, I would like to tell you okay some important things uh, uh, about this JL entrance exams here. See, guys, in JL entrance exam, not only JL for any competitive exams. Okay, you know that. Okay, what we need. So we need. Okay, the simple thing is that we need time. Okay, time for what? The time for competitive exams. Okay, in the examination, right? So in that examination, if you use a less time to answer the more questions, yes, you will be the ranker and you will get the job. Correct. So here. Uh, myself one confidently I can say you guys here whatever the topic it may be in the chemistry okay I never follow the traditional method to answer the questions in the competitive exams so here I am going to give you okay most of the shortcuts okay to answer the questions in the competitive exams confidently within the less time here okay so for uh, okay let me take you one okay topic here Okay, the topic will gives you some confidence. Okay, what model? Okay, if any particular model question is there, okay, how to answer that question in the easiest way without taking okay 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, I'm very sure listen the classes regularly. Okay, guys, you can improve okay your shortcuts and you can use those shortcuts to answer the questions in the competitive exams, and definitely you will get the job here. Okay, right, let us get into the topic here. So today I would like to tell you something about um, the absolute configuration and applications of the absolute configuration here so what are the absolute configurations okay let me tell you here so the topic is about uh, okay absolute configuration here so what is absolute configuration so the absolute configuration is nothing but okay see absolute configuration absolute configuration what is absolute configuration here so absolute configuration is nothing but rs notation okay r r s notation okay notation so what is rs notation what is rs notation actually what is the meaning of r and uh, what is the meaning of yes let me tell you that here see r okay actually this alphabet r is derived from the word rectus okay it is derived from the word okay rectus so what is rectus rectus means okay rectus means it is right hand side it is okay rectus means okay right hand side okay rectus means right hand side or you can also say it as a clockwise okay clockwise yeah. rectus means right hand side or clockwise okay the rotation you can represent a clockwise rotation like this here clear right and yes what is a yes here s is derived from sinister s is derived from sinister so what is sinister so sinister nothing but left hand side okay sinister is nothing but left hand side here so what is left hand side okay let me i will tell you in detail here left hand side or you can say anti clockwise or counter clockwise it is okay anti clockwise anti clockwise or you can say counter clockwise here so the direction can be represented like this here okay so now let me tell you what is R and what is S, okay, uh, in which conditions we have to use, okay, this terminology and what are the applications of this RS configuration, let us discuss in detail here. So generally, this RS configuration represents, okay, the spatial arrangement of the atoms or the groups, okay, what it represents here, it represents about the spatial arrangement of the atoms or the groups at chiral center. So one thing, first thing you have to remember is that RS configuration is absolutely applicable for the chiral carbon atom what is chiral carbon let me show you that here okay so for example for example here see guys let's see this here so you can see okay just suppose consider okay at this uh, center a carbon atom is here okay here is a carbon atom and which is having the four okay bonds okay which are present at the tetrahedral corners here and here you can see okay consider okay each ball okay different color balls are there now so consider different why i mentioned the different color balls means so to show you that okay each color is a different group here so now this is a carbon atom is attached to the four different atoms are the four different groups here so the carbon which is attached to the four different atoms are the four different groups is called as a chiral carbon okay chiral carbon so chiral carbon actually the word chiral is there now it is derived from the chirality 
okay the word chiral is derived where from it is derived it is derived from the chirality chirality so what is the meaning of chirality chirality is nothing but chirality is nothing but handedness okay it is nothing but handedness here so what is handedness let me show you that here so that's quite simple for example if you guys if you see this hand so one hand is here having the how many fingers yes five fingers are there here so now tell me whether all the five fingers of this hand are they equal in size or not yes they are unequal in the size that means one hand has a five different sized fingers right so that is called as a handedness same handedness you can see at chiral carbon so carbon means okay here chiral carbon means here one carbon can form the four bonds only tetra valency does so if those four bonds are there with the four different groups yes you can say that is the chiral carbon here now this absolute configuration or rs notation is applicable to the okay chiral carbon atom only okay absolute configuration is absolutely applicable to the chiral carbon only okay right so then what is absolute configuration configuration it means what here configuration is nothing but the spatial arrangement of the atoms or the groups around the space of the the central atom so now suppose here here is a central atom now here is a central atom around the space okay the groups are present at the different positions get okay, the groups are present at the different positions how they are arranged that arrangement will be described by using the r and s configuration here okay understood right now let's see how to assign how to assign rs configuration for a chiral carbon atom and what are the applications are there in the okay absolute configuration and what model questions will be there how to solve those questions okay let me explain in detail okay guys clear right let us get into the new topic here so now here see okay let's go to the okay assigning the absolute configuration so first you need to know chiral carbon so what is a chiral carbon here so chiral carbon so chiral okay carbon so chiral carbon nothing but it is nothing but okay the carbon which contains of four different atoms or groups here so chiral carbon is that okay chiral carbon is that so which contains okay which contains four different okay different atoms different atoms or groups okay this is called as a chiral carbon here okay and uh, the spatial arrangement of these okay four different atoms and groups can be represented with a okay absolute configuration how to do that here so whenever you are assigning the absolute configuration you have to remember okay two things here the okay it means there are the two steps to assign the absolute configuration here so what are the two steps here so whenever you are assigning the absolute configuration okay whenever you are assigning absolute configuration here okay let me the explain that here so assigning absolute configuration which configuration absolute configuration here okay absolute configuration so whenever you are assigning the absolute okay configuration what you have to do is that you have to follow the two steps here so what are the two steps here so first step is that okay the first step is that so give the priority okay give the priority to the four different groups here okay so four different groups are there now so for example here first let me explain theoretically okay how to do that here so for example if you take this molecule okay if you take this molecule whatever the molecule it may be so how to assign the absolute configuration first let me tell you the textbook methods which you are following here so consider this is a chiral carbon which is having the four different atoms are the groups here correct now now what we have to do so we have to give the 1 2 3 4 priority four groups are there so you give the 1 2 3 4 priorities here okay how to give those priorities means yes we have to follow some rules yes absolutely we have to follow some rules here so when you follow those rules okay yes okay you can give okay uh, the priorities after giving the priority what to do so let me tell you one thing here so for example see i am holding the molecule like this here consider okay this is okay the first priority group here okay green color is the first and this is a second red color is a second okay and this pink color is a third priority and back side okay one more group is here okay yellow color is a fourth priority okay now so do you remember here okay 1 2 3 4 priorities are given here okay that is the first step okay in the first step okay you guys have to give the four priorities to the four different groups that's it what is the second step here now what you have to do is that okay from the opposite side of the fourth priority group now here back side is a fourth priority group is there now so with respect to this fourth priority group okay you have to observe the molecule in the opposite direction that means if the fourth priority group is there on the back side you have to view the molecule from the front side here understood or in case if the fourth priority group is there at the top you have to view the molecule from the bottom the side 
If the fourth priority group is here on the front side, you have to view the molecule from the okay back side here like this. Okay, what we have to do is that after giving the priorities, okay, just view the molecule from the opposite direction of the fourth priority group. Now check okay how the priorities okay going, how the priority groups are arranged here. Now here see this is the first priority group here. Okay, and second first to second you have to observe first to second and second to third. Okay, first to second, second to third. How is our eye direction is rotating? Yes, our eye direction is rotating in the clockwise manner. Correct now? So, eye direction is rotating in the clockwise manner. From first to second, second to third, eye direction is rotating in the clockwise manner. Whenever the eye direction is rotating in the clockwise manner, when we observe from the back side of the fourth priority group, so that clockwise is nothing but rectus. So, you can say the carbon atom is having the okay, R configuration. That's it, simple. In case, okay, in case. So now let me change the, the positions of the groups here. Okay, let me change the positions of the groups. Now you guys can see that here. I said that, okay, the green color is the first priority group and red is the second and uh, this one is a third priority group. Now view the molecule from the first to second, second to third. How is our eye direction is rotating? Anti-clockwise manner. It is anti-clockwise manner here. So whenever the eye direction is rotating in the anti-clockwise manner, okay, and you have to, this compulsory condition, you guys have to observe the molecule from the opposite side of the fourth priority group. In that case, clockwise okay, rotation represents a okay, R configuration and counter-clockwise or anti-clockwise represents a S configuration. It is here. Okay, this is what you have to do. Understood now? Now, okay, let me tell you, okay, the important thing is that how to, okay, how to assign the priorities is an important thing. Okay, let me give you, okay, the clear idea, okay, how to, okay, assign the priorities. So, okay, to assign the priorities, okay, give the priorities, okay, assigning or giving priority here. So, whatever, okay, whatever you can say, okay, you can write it like this here, okay, giving priority, giving priority. Let's see how to give the priority. So to give the priority, we have to follow the rules. What are the rules we have to follow? So we have to follow some rules here. Okay, the rules are uh, like uh, they are called as uh, the SIP rules here. Okay, let me tell you that. Okay, what are the, the SIP rules? Okay, guys, fine. <coughs> okay, we have to follow SIP rules. C-I-P. Okay, Con in gold prelog rules. Okay, SIP rules are these here. So what are the SIP rules you have to follow? Okay, let me tell that here. So the first SIP rule, okay, the first SIP rule, okay, okay, is nothing but atomic number rule here. The first rule is here now. The first rule is called as a atomic number rule. Okay, which rule it is? Atomic number rule here. Okay, atomic number rule. What is atomic number rule? Okay, what to do with the atomic number rule here? Okay, let's see that here. Now suppose guys here see, let me take you one of the simplest example here. So I'm writing a molecule like this. Okay, consider, okay, here I'm taking the some okay, random molecules, okay, for example, here I'm, uh, I'm writing the CH3-methyl group and I'm writing the one hydroxy group and here I'm, I can write uh, something like uh, uh, fluorine and let me write, uh, okay, NH2, okay. Now, you can check that here. First, you have to check that whether the given carbon is a chiral or not here. Yes, this is a chiral carbon. Okay, this carbon is a chiral carbon because this carbon is directly attached to the four different atoms or the groups here. Hence, it is a chiral carbon. Next, what to do? Okay, what to do here? Now, guys, here see. Okay, what to do? Okay, is that according to atomic number rule? Okay, according to atomic number rule, what you have to do is that? So, whatever the chiral carbon is here, whatever the chiral carbon is here, you have to check, okay, all the four atoms which are directly attached to the chiral carbon. Okay, now you see, <coughs> okay, this is a carbon. Above this side, carbon atom is here. Okay, now, and right side, oxygen, <coughs> sorry, oxygen atom is here. And below this side, fluorine atom is here. And left side nitrogen is here. Okay, guys, I'm okay reminding you again. You have to check the atoms which are directly attached to the chiral carbon. Those atoms first you have to take here. Now here, see what to do. Okay, just take the atomic numbers. Okay, check the atomic number. Okay, what are the atomic numbers? Okay, and all we know that. Okay, suppose if you see that. Okay, if you see that. Okay, atomic num atomic number. Atomic number of the carbon is a six. Oxygen eight. Fluorine nine. And nitrogen seven. Okay, no? right. So after giving the okay atomic numbers, next what you do, you know, okay, that's quite simple here. What you have to do is that the atom or the group, okay, the atom which has the highest atomic number gets the highest priority. 
and as the atomic number is decreasing the priority also decreases here that's all quite simple here you see so here four atoms are there so you have to check which atoms atomic number is a more yes okay carbon 6 oxygen 8 fluorine 9 nitrogen 7 so fluorine atomic number is the highest among the four so therefore the fluorine gets a first priority okay fluorine gets the first priority okay well, right so next up okay it gets a first priority okay first priority next whose atomic number is a more oxygen so oxygen gets a second priority give that next uh, okay six and seven is here nitrogen is here nitrogen atomic number is the next highest priority next or uh, highest atomic number so therefore it's the next highest third priority and carbon gets a fourth priority here okay so this is a the first thing you have to do okay now so i say that okay give the priorities okay okay four priorities to the four different groups here okay based on which okay which condition you are giving atomic number rule here so the atom which is directly attached to the chiral carbon with the highest atomic number gets the highest priority and as decreasing the atomic number as decreasing the atomic number what happens priority also decreases here okay done after giving the priority what to do okay i told you now we have to view the molecule from the opposite side of the fourth priority group okay so then view the molecule from the first to second second to third then what happens if our i direction is a clockwise manner if our i direction is a clockwise manner yes that is called as a r configuration if it is a counter clockwise manner yes configuration okay that's fine so if you have okay if the molecule is represented like this in the three dimensions yes that will be easy but here there is a it is a two dimensions diagram only okay because we are okay the molecule is dependent along with the only two axes okay two axes it is represented so it is a two dimension in case in that case okay how to do that here actually guys okay let's see okay whenever you are representing the molecule by using the one vertical okay and a horizontal lines okay that is called the fisher projection formula so what is a fisher projection formula means how okay so generally representation okay, of the organic molecule is in the different manners so in which okay one parent chain will be there now so you have to represent the parent chain with a vertical line okay the vertical line represents the, all the carbon atoms of the parent chain later the most oxidized groups at the two terminals will be there now in the parent chain two terminals will be there so the most oxidized group should be at the top okay at the top of the vertical line and another okay the terminal will be at the bottom and in between these two terminal carbon atoms okay in between these two terminal carbon atom non-terminal carbons are there now so the the bonds at the non-terminal carbon atoms will be represented on the horizontal line okay that is called the fisher formula here okay fine so okay this is a fisher projection formula in this fisher projection formula then what to do here okay what to do how to ascend the absolute configuration let me tell you one simple shortcut here so what's the shortcut you guys have to follow is that okay let me tell you the shortcut okay to ascend the absolute configuration okay in the fisher projection formula okay that's quite simple here okay guys here remember okay remember in fisher formula okay in fisher formula okay in fisher's formula what to do quite simple see this is a vertical line and this is a horizontal line okay so here i'm telling you the simple rule here okay uh, vertical is very good horizontal is opposite here that means if the fourth priority group okay if the fourth priority group is there on the vertical line okay that is one possibility is it so the fourth priority group may be on the vertical line it may be on the vertical line means it may be on the top or bottom anywhere but you have to check whether the fourth priority group is on the vertical line or not okay now so if the fourth priority group is here on the vertical line what uh, absolute configuration we can give and same in the same manner what if the fourth priority group is there on the horizontal line here okay let me tell you that here so you can fourth i am giving you the two conditions okay one is the presence of the fourth priority group at the vertical line another one is the presence of the fourth priority group on the horizontal line here okay now right let's see next here so if the fourth priority group is on the vertical line and suppose okay here see if, if the rotation the rotation may be in the clockwise or rotation may be in the counter clockwise or anti-clockwise directions correct now right now guys here remember if the fourth priority group is there on the vertical line okay if the fourth priority group is there on the vertical line the clockwise rotation okay clockwise rotation represents it has a r configuration okay and if the fourth priority group is on the vertical line and the anti-clockwise or counter-clockwise rotation represents it as a yes configuration and whenever the fourth group is there on the horizontal line it should be the opposite it should be opposite that means okay whenever the fourth group is there on the horizontal line the clockwise rotation is uh, represents a yes configuration 
and uh, anti clockwise rotation represents the uh, r configuration here so this is what you guys have to remember so for this okay let me tell you the simplest shortcut here what to do how to remember this here so simply remember generally we know okay if the uh, if the priority okay the r is derived from the rectus rectus means clockwise correct now rectus means clockwise here so here clockwise is a r anti clockwise is a yes okay yes is derived from the sinister when it is correct means whenever the fourth group is present on the vertical line that is correct that means vertical is very good vertical is very good that means so which represents a clockwise direction is a r counter clockwise direction is a yes okay now? and whenever the fourth group is in the horizontal line Okay, whenever the fourth group is in the horizontal line, horizontal is opposite. Remember like that, horizontal is opposite, vertical is very good. So, horizontal is opposite means clockwise becomes opposite. Okay, generally clockwise is a R, but opposite is a yes. So, horizontal is opposite. So, whenever the fourth group is in the horizontal line, the clockwise rotation from the 1 to 2, 2 to 3, okay, is in the clockwise manner. Okay, that represents a yes configuration. And anti-clockwise rotation represents a R configuration. This is what you have to remember. Clear? Now let us apply this concept to here. So if you apply that concept, here guys, you see, the priorities are already given here. So priorities are already given. So fluorine has a first priority, okay, among the four. So the first priority group is there at the bottom, correct? The first priority group is there at bottom here. So let me use a different color pens because chemistry is colorful, right? Okay. So here I'm writing the first group here, first priority group here. Next, the second priority is there towards the right side. Correct. And third priority, nitrogen containing is there towards the left side. And methyl, fourth priority group is there at the top, above this side here. That's it. Okay. Four priorities are given. After giving the four priorities, okay. After giving the four priorities, what to do here? View the molecule from the first to second and second to third here. Forget about, forget about the fourth group here. Okay. Here is the fourth group is here. Forget about it here. Then view the molecule from the first to second. Okay, and the second to third, that's it. Okay, forget about the fourth group here and view the molecule from the first to second, second to third. So from first to second and second to third, how is our I direction is rotating? Our I direction is rotating in the anti-clockwise manner. And where is the fourth group here? The fourth group is here on the vertical line. So 4 by V rule. So 4 by V rule means, okay, whenever the fourth group is here on the vertical line, the anti-clockwise rotation represents it as a S configuration. Yes, that's all. So you can say, now the carbon atom, the chiral carbon atom is having S configuration. Like this you can finalize. Quite simple, right? So here, once again, I'm reminding you what to do. The first thing is that, give the four priorities to the four okay, different groups present at the chiral carbon. How to give the priorities? The first rule is that atomic number rule. According to atomic number rule, according to atomic number rule, so the atoms which are directly attached to the chiral carbon atom, okay, the at first you have to check the atomic numbers of the atoms which are directly attached to the chiral carbon atom, correct? So later you have to check their atomic number. The atom which has the highest atomic number gets the highest priority, means the first priority. And as decreasing the atomic numbers, the priority also gradually decreases here. Like that, give the all the four priorities to the four different groups. Okay. And uh, if the molecule is represented in the Fisher projection formula, how to assign the absolute configuration? It means what to do is that. So whenever the molecule is representing in the Fisher projection formula, just to follow this chart. Okay, simple shortcut it is here. What to do here? So you have to check that whether the fourth group is here on the vertical line, irrespective of the position, whether it may be above or below, that is secondary. You have to check at, at which position it is present here, whether it is at above this side or below this side here. Or if the fourth priority group is here on the horizontal line, means you have to check whether it is on the right or left side, wherever. Whether it is present on the horizontal line is there or not, that is only important. Yes, next step. So, after giving the priority, okay, just check the way the fourth priority group is here. Next, view the molecule from the first to second, second to third here. Okay, first to second, second to third, you have to check the molecule. Okay, and you have to observe how is our I direction is rotating, whether it is rotating in the clockwise or counterclockwise manner. Okay, so after checking the direction of the rotation of the our I, okay, from the first to second, second to third, check the based on the fourth priority group position, you can assign the absolute configuration here. So in this particular molecule, in this particular molecule, so from the 1 to 2, 2 to 3, okay, the I direction is rotating in the counterclockwise manner and fourth group is here on the vertical line. So vertical is very good. So that means anti-clockwise represents a yes configuration. Yes, you can say the carbon atom has a yes configuration here. Clear now? Understood? Right. Now let us go to the, the second rule here. So this is the first rule only I told. So what is the second rule here? So the second rule is that, 
okay the second rule is okay is also nothing but atomic number rule only but extension of atomic number rule what is the extension of atomic number rule? okay this is a part of atomic number rule okay for example you guys okay if you see this is a molecule what i'm doing is that i'm giving the the different uh, okay the groups here okay for example consider okay this is a molecule in this molecule okay in this molecule let me write uh, some different groups here so for example let me take uh, uh, ch 3 here and let me take a hydroxy group here and let me take hydrogen here and uh, CH2CH3. So, these are the molecules I am taking here. Okay, the different groups are there in this molecule here. Okay, and yes, we know that okay, this carbon is a absolutely chiral carbon atom because it is attached to four different groups. So, chiral carbon. Now, let us see how to assign the uh, absolute configuration to this chiral carbon. Okay, follow the same thing. Okay, at chiral carbon atom, okay, at chiral carbon atom, check what are the, the four different atoms are directly attached here. At chiral carbon atom, you can check that here. Okay, at the top side, one carbon atom is there. Okay, right side, carbon is directly attached to oxygen and below this side, it is attached to one more carbon atom. Left side, hydrogen atom is there. Understood? Right. Now, what to do? Check the atomic numbers. That's it. Okay, atomic numbers. So, what are the atomic numbers? Okay, let us write their atomic numbers here. So, if you write their atomic numbers, okay, if you write their atomic numbers, yes, carbon atomic number is 6, oxygen atomic number is a 8, again 6, okay, hydrogen atomic number is a 1. Now, see, okay, the I told you that, okay, the atom with the highest atomic number, okay, gets the highest priority. Oxygen atomic number is a more. So, oxygen containing group will get the first priority here. So, where it is? It is a towards the first side, okay, right side. So, this is a first priority right group here. Okay, now, next, uh, hydrogen atom is the least priority among the four, okay, least atomic number is here. So, it gets the least priority here. So, that hydrogen is here at the left side. So, directly you can say it is a fourth priority group here. Okay, now, and next come to the point, okay, carbon atoms. Sir, here we know the carbon atomic number is a 6. Both the atoms are in the same atomic number. So, here, how to decide the priority in that case here? So, with this, at this stage, you cannot decide the priority. Correct? At this stage, you cannot decide the priority. Then what to do? Yes, you have to go to the, the next further atoms which are present on that here. So, for example, here, see, okay, okay, here this is a carbon. This is also carbon having the same atomic numbers. <coughs> Sorry. So, here you cannot decide the priority. Then in that case, what to do? Just go for the further atoms. So, this carbon is again directly attached to the three hydrogen atoms. So, just write them here. The carbon is directly attached to the three hydrogen atoms. Okay, just write them here. Hydrogen, hydrogen and hydrogen. Okay, now next. So, below this side carbon is here. So, this below this side carbon is attached to, directly attached to which atoms here? So, two hydrogens and one carbon, right? So, write them here. Two hydrogens and one carbon atom here. Okay, fine. Next, what to do is that, sir, here simple, okay, uh, whatever the atoms with the same atomic numbers, okay, must be cancelled because the atoms with the same atomic numbers are not going to help us to decide the priority, so cancel them. So, here see, here three hydrogens, here two hydrogens, so out of the three, two hydrogens, you can cancel, correct? You can cancel the two hydrogen atoms. Next, what are the different atoms are left? Okay, at this carbon atom, okay, this carbon atom, one hydrogen and here one carbon atom is here. So, whose atomic, next again check the atomic numbers. So, check the atomic number. Hydrogen atomic number is a one, carbon atomic number is a six. So, now, okay, the carbon atomic number is the highest compared to the hydrogen. So, therefore, this carbon containing group gets a next highest priority. And where it is present, it is present below this side, no? Right, it presented the below the side now. So, next highest priority after first next highest priority is the second priority. So, therefore, second priority goes to carbon this CH2 CH3 group here, and third priority goes to this methyl group here. That's it. So, priority is given after giving the priority. What to do as usual? So, after giving the priority, okay, what to do is that okay, that is quite simple here. Okay, same thing. So, just check that here, just check that here. So, right side first priority group, correct. Okay, below this side second priority group, above this side third priority group and the left side fourth priority group is there. Now view the molecule from the first to second and second to third. Okay, view the molecule from the first to second, second to third here. So whenever view the, view the molecule from the first to second and the second to third, forget about the fourth priority group, wherever it is, just forget it, just forget it. Okay, now, right. So view the molecule from the first to second, second to third. How is our eye direction is rotating? Yes, our eye direction is rotating in clockwise manner. Correct now? Eye direction is rotating in the clockwise manner. Next, what to do here? 
just check the position of the fourth priority group where the fourth priority group is present here fourth group is present on the horizontal line i told you now horizontal is opposite here 4 by h rule you have to follow so according to 4 by h rule okay since the fourth priority group is there on the back side bond sorry not back side on the horizontal line okay fourth priority group is there on the horizontal line so in general clockwise is a r but horizontal is opposite that means it becomes s configurated carbon atom that's it that's it okay you can do it here understood now easy now so once again i'm saying here so here in this case okay in this rule okay what you have to okay focus is that okay if the two same atoms are there at the okay uh, at different positions their atomic numbers will be same in that case how to decide the priority in that case what to do is that you just simple go for the further atoms okay check their atomic numbers the atoms with the same atomic numbers at the two different atoms cancel them because they are not gonna help us okay to decide the priority correct so just okay just cancel them and check the other atoms sir again if the same atoms are there next what to do again go for the further atom just keep on move keep on move until you decide the priority okay keep on move until you decide the priority okay now so later okay at particular stage yes definitely there will be the two different atoms so based on their atomic numbers give the priority set that's all okay that is what you have to focus in the second rule here this is extension of atomic number rule it is same as first time first rule only but some extension here okay clear so after giving the priorities as usual as usual okay view the molecule from the first to second second to third okay forget about the fourth priority okay view from the first to second second to third just observe how is our how your eye direction is rotating if it is in the clockwise or counterclockwise okay you just check that here later where the fourth priority group is existing so if the fourth priority group is existing on the vertical line clockwise is a r counterclockwise is a yes if the fourth priority group is existing on the horizontal line clockwise is a yes and anti-clockwise is a r configuration that's all you can decide it here okay clear right now let me tell you the third rule okay third rule two more rules are there okay let me tell you what is the third rule here so if you go to the third rule okay that is called as a multiple bond rule here Okay, that is called as a multiple bond rule what is multiple bond rule here okay multiple bond rule okay multiple bond rule what is multiple bond rule here now for example for example consider here i'm giving you one molecule okay in this molecule here i'm writing one aldehyde group okay here i'm writing one hydroxy group here i'm writing one hydrogen atom and here I am writing, okay, CH2OH, okay, right, good. So, what is the name of this molecule? Yes, this is called as a glyceraldehyde, okay, glyceraldehyde, in which, okay, in which, okay, this carbon is a chiral carbon, right? This carbon is a chiral carbon atom here. Now, we have to assign the absolute configuration of this carbon. So, what to do here? Just give the priorities, okay, just give the priorities here. How to give the priorities? Okay, let us check that here, okay, how to give the priorities? Let us check that here. So, same as atomic number rule, okay, let us now, let us simplify, directly let us do here, chiral carbon directly attached to the oxygen, carbon, carbon, hydrogen, among the four directly attached atom, oxygen atomic number is the highest, so therefore oxygen containing this group gets a first priority, and uh, in the remaining three, hydrogen atomic number is the least, therefore it gets a least priority, that is the fourth priority, next what here, next uh, two carbon atoms are there, okay, so at this chiral carbon atom, okay, at this chiral carbon atom, okay, two carbon atoms are there, above this side one carbon and below this side one carbon is there, in that case what to do, just go for the further atoms, go for the further atoms here, see at the below this side carbon, okay, this carbon is attached to two hydrogens and one oxygen, correct now, it is directly attached, directly attached atoms only you have to consider, so this carbon is directly attached to two hydrogens and one oxygen, just write them here, Okay, it is attached to the two hydrogens and one oxygen uh, with all the atoms, it is having the single bonds only. Okay, now done. And uh, this above this said carbon, aldehydic carbon atom is uh, attached to one oxygen, one oxygen with a double bond and uh, one hydrogen with a single bond here. Now, here oxygen is having the double bond, at above this said carbon, oxygen is having the double bond with the carbon. In that case, that double bond or triple bond are called as a multiple bonds here. So, if it is there with a the double bond, Okay, if it is there with a the double bond, what to do is that you have to consider the oxygen is existing twice. Okay, what you have to do? You have to consider the oxygen is existing twice, two times oxygen is existing. If any other atom, suppose if you take the nitrogen, nitrogen may form the triple bond. So, <coughs> so if any other atom is there, okay, having the triple bond, you have to consider that particular other atom is existing for the thrice, three times. 
like that you have to consider it. So in case if the multiple bonds are there, what to do here? So you have to consider that neighbor atom, okay, existing equal number of the times of the bonds present in that, uh, okay, atom here. That's all quite simple. So here, since oxygen is having the double bond, okay, you have to consider, okay, here it is, okay, here uh, oxygen is existing the twice. So that is the reason why I'm writing this oxygen for the two times. That's all quite simple. Clear? Right. Now cancel same as cancel the same atoms. Okay, hydrogen, hydrogen get cancelled, oxygen, oxygen get cancelled. Okay, because their atomic numbers are the same, so that they are not going to help us to decide the priority. Next different atoms are there. What are the different atoms here? Here is hydrogen and here is oxygen. Now check their atomic numbers. Oxygen atomic number is a eight, whereas hydrogen atomic number is a one. So, since this oxygen is having the highest atomic number, that oxygen containing the group gets the next highest priority. Understood? So, what is the next highest priority here? So, okay, hydroxy group first priority is done. So, next highest priority is the second priority. Yes, it will get the second priority and here it gets the third priority. That's all guys, okay. First step is done. First step is done. That means 80% of the work is done. Next is simple here. You just view the molecule from the first to second, second to third, okay by forgetting the fourth priority group here. So directly let me do that here. So first to second and second to third, our I direction is rotating in anti-clockwise manner. And whereas the fourth priority group is here and the horizontal, in general anti-clockwise is a yes, but horizontal is opposite. Horizontal is opposite means here, okay, since the fourth priority group is here and the horizontal, okay, fourth priority group is here and the horizontal, okay, four by H rule, I told you that. Okay, horizontal is opposite. That means anti-clockwise is generally S, but opposite means becomes R. So this is having the R configuration. Okay, this is called as a multiple bond rule here. Understood now? If the multiple bond is there, what to do, how to decide the priority means? Okay, just check, okay, that neighbor atom is having the how many multiple bonds with the, okay, how many times it is having the bond with the carbon. If it is having the double bond, you have to consider that neighbor atom is existing for the twice. If it is having the triple bond, you have to consider, okay, that neighbor atom is existing thrice. That's all simple. Okay, and it's same as, okay, further, okay, go through the, the atomic number rule, you can decide the priority here. This is the third rule here, okay, now, now let me tell you the last rule, okay, that is the fourth rule here. So, what is the fourth rule? Fourth rule is called as a isotopic rule here, okay, the fourth rule is called as a isotopic rule. What is isotopic rule? Let me tell you that here. Isotopic rule means in case of isotopes are present, okay, for example, consider here is a molecule, here is a molecule like uh, uh, aldehyde. Okay, all the height. Okay, and here I am writing something like deuterium, and here I am writing something like hydroxy, and here I am writing the hydrogen atom here. Yes, you can check that here. Okay, let's see how to give the priorities. Okay, so guys, here see uh, what we can do is that. So first you have to check whether the chiral carbon is there or not here. Of course, okay, this carbon is a chiral carbon because it is having the four different atoms here. Chiral carbon is there. And what are directly attached atoms? Above the side carbon, right side deuterium, below the side uh, hydrogen and left side oxygen. Among the four whose atomic number is a more, oxygen atomic number is a more. So this oxygen containing hydroxy group gets a first priority. Next highest atomic number is there for the carbon. So carbon containing aldehyde group gets a second priority. And here we have the two isotopes. Atomic numbers are the one only. But uh, okay, no, there are the no further atoms. Atomic number is a one, same atomic number is the same. Then generally we will go to the further atoms, so there is a no further atoms. And in case we will, okay, multiple bonds are there, we can check that, that is also not there here. In that case, how to give the, the priority here, quite simple here. Just check their mass number, mass number, atomic mass here. So atomic mass of the okay, hydrogen, H11, protium it is. You are writing the hydrogen, means it's a protium, hydrogen isotope, okay. And this is a H12, that is nothing but deuterium. So, in case of the isotopes, the isotope which has the highest mass number gets the highest priority. Okay, the isotope with the highest mass number gets the highest priority here. So, here you can see, okay, the deuterium isotope, okay, deuterium isotope mass number is a more, so it gets the next highest priority, first, second completed. So, what is the next highest here? Third. So, the deuterium gets the third priority and the hydrogen H11 is called the protium, which gets the fourth priority. That's all. Okay, work is done, 80% work is done here. Now, view the molecule, okay, from the first to second, second to third. Forget about the fourth. Just view the molecule, okay, just view the molecule from the first to second and second to third here. So, from the first to second and the second to third, our eye direction is rotating in the clockwise manner, right? Okay, our right direction is rotating in the clockwise manner, whereas the fourth group is here on the okay vertical line. So, whenever the fourth group is here on the vertical line, 
and clockwise direction represents okay clockwise direction rotation represents it as a r configuration that's all vertical is very good so clockwise rotation is a r configuration that's all guys okay just follow these rules here okay you can uh, okay you can you can assign the absolute configuration accurately without fail in case of fisher projection formula okay in case of the fisher projection formula you can do that here okay let me remind you all okay one by one here okay how to uh, okay give the absolute configuration means okay here see absolute configuration assigning the absolute configuration you can see that here the first step is that giving the priority here okay how to give the priority okay i told you that so guys whenever you okay you see here what is actually absolute configuration rs notation rs notation is applicable to the only chiral carbon atom first thing to remember and what is r r is derived from the rectus it means right hand side or clockwise manner what is s s is derived from the word sinister it means left hand side and anti clockwise manner here and this rs configuration is uh, applicable to the only chiral carbon the chiral carbon means the carbon which contains of four different atoms are the groups here actually the word chiral is derived from the chirality chirality means handedness i told you handedness means okay hand as a five different sized finger same as a carbon contains of four different okay different atoms are the groups okay so next okay next you can see that here okay how to assign the absolute configuration means two steps will be there first step is a giving the priority how to give the priority means just follow the sip rules here the what are the sip rules means first is the atomic number rule according to atomic number rule okay the atom which is directly attached to the chiral carbon with the highest atomic number gets a highest first priority and as decreasing the atomic number priority also gradually decreases okay now right and after giving all the four priorities okay in the fisher projection formula you have to check the fourth priority group where it is present okay where it is present whether it is present on the vertical or horizontal line if the fourth priority group is there on the vertical line the clockwise rotation represents r and anti clockwise represents a s configuration and uh, if the fourth priority group is there on the horizontal line clockwise represents a s anti clockwise represents a r configuration just remember it has a, a vertical is a very good horizontal is opposite that's all quite simple here so yes as per the given rules i told you this configuration here next second rule is that okay what is the second rule okay extension of atomic number rule if the two same atoms are there okay with the same atomic numbers okay how to decide the priority here at this stage you cannot decide the priority so to decide the priority you have to go for the further atoms here okay just keep on move okay until you decide the priority by using this for okay formula here next what to do here okay another rule is a multiple bond rule if any atom is having the multiple bond okay then what you have to do is that whatever the neighbor atom is here okay if that neighbor atom is having the double bond you have to consider the neighbor atom is existing for twice if the neighbor atom is having the triple bond okay that is existing for the thrice okay like that you have to decide okay and later okay based on the atomic number rules okay that means okay cancel the same atoms uh, at the two different carbon atoms and uh, whatever the two different atoms are there based on their atomic numbers okay you can decide the priority okay this is a third rule and the fourth rule is that okay isotopic rule in case at the chiral carbon if the two different isotopes are there so isotopes are there which are different at the top mass number right so uh, since the mass number is a different okay that mass number will going to help us to decide the priority how how means okay the isotope with the highest mass number gets a highest priority okay based on that give the priority and again view the molecule from the first to second second to third by forgetting the fourth priority group and check the fourth position of the fourth priority group whether it is a vertical or horizontal okay based on that follow the table which i given okay you can answer the absolute configuration here okay up to that it's good next let me tell you okay uh, how to decide the absolute configuration if uh, the molecule is represented in the wedge flying formula okay if you know this okay that is quite simple here let me tell you okay in the wedge flying formula here so what is wedge flying formula let me tell you that here so wedge flying formula okay wedge flying formula means you guys can see that here so this is a molecule in this molecule okay three dimensional representation wedge flying is nothing but three dimensional representation what you do is that so at chiral carbon atom at chiral carbon atom you have to imagine one plane you have to imagine one plane here you see okay consider okay that plane must okay there is a condition the plane must passes through the center of the molecule means at the chiral center okay it must passes through the chiral center and uh, it must possess uh, any two bonds it must possess any two bonds okay now let me imagine one plane okay through this uh, green and uh, the pink color bond here so i am i am imagining one bond like this here so okay now just plane okay just imagine one plane in this direction okay this this plane is consists of the two bonds now yes okay this is a imaginary plane and the bonds okay which are okay whatever the two bonds are lies in the imaginary plane okay imaginary plane called as a normal bonds here and with respect to this plane okay this uh, red color red color ball means the bond with the red color ball is existing front side now that is called as a wedge bond and which is existing back side is called as a flying bond here 
so we are going to represent the molecule by using the wedge and flying bonds okay wedge and flying bonds therefore that is called the wedge flying representation okay let me show you that how to do that okay that is quite simple okay for example for example so in case of the wedge flying okay wedge flying okay formula in case of the wedge flying formula what to do okay let me show you that here how to do that here for example consider this is a carbon atom okay okay it has a two normal bonds okay the normal bonds are nothing but which are lies in the plane which are lies in the imaginary plane here okay and the next uh, okay wedge bond is here okay wedge bond is here generally you can represent the wedge bond with uh, a wedge line thick line okay, simply you can say it is a wedge bond okay thick line if you represent it like this here okay that is called as a wedge bond here and back side bond is here uh, the back side bond must be represented with a dotted line like this here okay dotted line okay one well, right sorry guys Okay, this is a wedge bond and this is dotted line flying bond here so this is the front side bond okay what is this here this is a front side bond it is okay front side bond it is front side bond is nothing but wedge bond okay this is nothing but wedge bond here and this is a flying bond okay this is a flying bond so the flying bond okay flying bond is always exist back side okay back side of the imaginary plane okay flying bond is nothing but the back side bond it is what is this this is a back side bond okay that's all simple if you know this okay assigning absolute configuration is a quite simple okay what to do you know guys here so that is quite simple okay whenever the molecule is representing in the wedge flying formula okay if the chiral center is present in that how to assign the absolute configuration let's check that here so now here see give the priorities okay give the priorities one two three four priorities see how to give first here after giving the priorities okay after giving the priorities okay what you have to do okay how to check okay how to check where the fourth priority group is existing okay where the fourth priority group is existing so here three possible positions are there to exist a fourth priority group here okay for example consider for example consider here here consider i'm giving the priorities like this here one two three four that's it simple Okay, now what do you do after giving the priority? How to give the molecule from the opposite side of the fourth priority group now? Yes, but okay, of course it is there on the back side, so directly you can see from the front side you can assign the priority. But if it is on the front side, if it is at the top, if it is there at the some other place, how you can see that will be difficult. So here let me tell you one simple shortcut. What to do? The shortcut is that if the fourth priority group is there on the back side bond, okay, follow the four by B rule. If the fourth priority group is there on the front side bond, okay, follow the four by F rule. If the fourth priority group is there on the normal bond, I will tell you how to do. Okay, that is quite simple here. So if the fourth priority group is there on the back side bond, okay, fourth priority group is there on the back side bond. So under if the okay, our right direction is rotating in the clockwise manner, or it may be rotating in the counterclockwise manner. So then what to do, you know? Okay, that is okay, very easy, guys. Here, so here what to do is that whenever the fourth priority group is here on the back side bond and the clockwise rotation represents the R configuration, anti-clockwise rotation represents the S configuration. That's all. Okay, if the fourth group is here on the back side, the clockwise is a R, anti-clockwise is a yes. And if the fourth group is here on the front side, it will be reverse. That means reverse means clockwise represents a yes configuration, anti-clockwise represents a R configuration. That's all quite simple. Just to follow this, uh, okay, uh, the table, yes guys, okay, this simple, the shortcut it is, okay, if you follow the shortcut, yes, you can answer the RS configuration even in the wedge flying formula. Then how to give the priority means follow the same SIP rules here. Just to follow that and assign the priority. After giving the priority, just check the fourth group whether it is a okay friend, uh, friend side or back side. Okay, this is a friend side. Okay, this is a friend side bond. I told you wedge bond is a friend side bond. And dotted bond is in a dotted line. Okay, that is a flying bond is a back side bond here. Just to follow that here. Okay, let me give you okay for example let us see this here. Okay, here okay just to forget the fourth priority group and view the molecule from the first to second and the second to third here. So view the molecule from the first to second, second to third okay first to second and second to third okay forget about the fourth group here just check okay how is uh, our i direction is rotating from the first to second and the second to third it is rotating in the clockwise manner and where is the fourth group next step is that where is the fourth group it is on the back side one so 4 by b clockwise is a r configuration that's all that's all it is having the r configuration here understood now and in case if it is on the back side bond, okay, if it is if it is on the back side bond, then what to do? Okay, let me tell you that here. If it is here on the back side bond, if it is here on the back side bond, you can do it like this here. Okay, for example, let me write one molecule here. 
okay uh, one simple example i'm giving you uh, for example see so this is a wedge bond and this is okay flying bond okay right here i'm, I'm writing something like uh, aldehyde and uh, here i'm writing the hydrogen and it is a hydroxy group and here is a methyl okay methyl okay this is nothing but lactaldehyde okay lactaldehyde it is chiral carbon is it yes of course this is a chiral carbon now give the priority here okay give the priority so after giving the priority okay just follow the same rules here okay so among the four directly attached atom oxygen atomic number is a more so first next carbon carbon hydrogen hydrogen has a least atomic number so fourth priority and carbon is attached to okay one oxygen with a double bond and one hydrogen aldehyde group and it is attached to three hydrogen so so since here oxygen atomic number is a more it gets a next highest priority is a second and here it gets a third priority okay so one two three four done now view the molecule forget about the fourth group here forget about the fourth group and then view the molecule from the first to second second to third how is our i direction is rotating okay from first to second and second to third our i direction is rotating in the anti clockwise manner right it is rotating in the anti clockwise manner and the fourth priority group is here on the front side bond okay this bond is a front side bond okay fourth priority group is here on the front side bond here so if the fourth priority group is here on the front side bond i told you now so what it is here if the fourth priority group is here on the front side bond okay here okay the clockwise rotation is a, okay yes anti clockwise rotation is a r here okay now let's check that here okay if you check that okay fourth priority group is here on the front side bond anti clockwise is here so you can say it has a r configuration the chiral carbon is having the r configuration easy now now what if it is there at the normal bond if it is not at the uh, uh, front or back side carbon if it is at the normal bond what to do here let me tell you that here okay quite simple okay quite simple here so what you do is that for example consider i am writing a molecule like this here okay consider this is a front side bond okay carbon carbon okay this is the front side bond and it is a back side bond okay right now you can check that okay what i'm doing is that i'm writing the hydrogen atom here here i'm writing the hydrogen okay now and the remaining groups are there anywhere you can write okay let me write the aldehyde here hydroxy group here and the methyl group here then give the priorities okay that's all okay give the priorities here how to give the priorities here okay the priorities okay you know follow the shift rules here yes okay hydroxy group is the first priority aldehyde is a second okay uh, methyl is a third priority hydrogen is a fourth priority hydrogen group here that's it now okay what to do so here fourth priority group is is, is not either on the front side okay or on the back side bond it is there on the normal bond then what to do what to do you know very simple just to do one small thing operation is called as a rotation okay let me show you that here now suppose here see okay yellow can say yellow color is a okay yellow color is a the fourth priority group here okay it is there above this side now it is there above this side now next what you do is that now just i am imagining one plane in this direction i am imagining one plane in this direction so this that means these two bonds are the normal bonds hold the another normal bond okay fourth priority group is here on the front side uh, the above this side now next what you do you can rotate it because rotation never change the absolute configuration so you can rotate either in the clockwise direction to bring the fourth priority group onto the front side bond or you can rotate okay onto the back side bond here that's it just to do the rotation okay just to do the rotation what you, what i am doing is that okay if the fourth priority group is here on the normal bond it, it may be on the above this side or on left or right side anywhere so hold the another normal bond and uh, by doing the rotation bring this fourth priority group either onto the front side or onto the back side bond here that's it okay just to follow the next rule you can do that here let us do that operation here if you do that operation okay what do you do is that so now here since the fourth group is here on the okay normal bond above this side i'm going to hold this here i'm going to hold it means it will be in the fixed position right all the head group is in the fixed position okay let it be here okay all the head is there at the fixed position okay all the head is there at fixed position let it be here uh, let me do that operation okay what i'm doing here is a carbon i'm holding the all the head here itself okay so rotate it okay rotate it okay where you want to bring fourth priority group onto the back side bond or front side bond that is your wish no problem so let me rotate okay to the back side here that means okay i have to rotate up to here and uh, when whenever i rotate here this will comes here 
and this group will goes here okay that's it okay now so here the positions of the bonds will not be changed but uh, by this rotation positions of the groups will be changed here okay bonds will be at the same position but the groups only will be changed in their position now what i'm doing i'm bringing the fourth group uh, okay to the back side uh, hydrogen then that hydroxy group okay back side hydroxy group comes front side so here will be the hydroxy okay and then the okay this methyl group goes above this side here that's all simple now you can follow the okay the rules now i told you the rules here you just follow the rules here what are the rules i told you okay the rule is that okay so this is the first group here and this is a second priority group and this is a third priority group and this is a fourth priority group here now view the molecule from the first to second and second to third here how is our i direction is rotating yes our i direction is rotating in the clockwise manner fourth group is in the back side so 4 by b clockwise is a r configuration yes that's it okay it is in the r configuration understood now like this you guys have to assign the absolute configuration absolute configuration by following these rules here okay so this is a way okay to assign the absolute configuration at a chiral carbon whether the molecule may be represented in the fisher projection formula or whether it may be represented in the wedge flying formula you just follow these things guys okay you can assign the absolute configuration here next uh, we have to the important thing is that we have to go to the uh, applications of absolute configuration what are the applications of absolute configuration we can identify okay the different molecules like identical molecules you can identify you can identify the enantiomers you can identify the diastereomers okay all these things are there okay how to identify with the help of absolute configuration I will explain in upcoming classes here. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you very much. So here, let me give you some small announcement here. So, uh, so we are launching this chemistry course from the, okay, Harish Academy. Okay, I'm your chemistry faculty, Paman sir. So here, I'm starting the course for the uh, 9,999 okay so this uh, from 21st onwards okay the course will be started this is a live interactive classes okay this is a live interactive classes uh, those guys who are missing the live classes okay due to some okay other works and all okay we have okay here you are having the one facility that is okay our classes will be recorded in our app okay so just download that app okay whatever the recorded classes are there which you missed okay again you can uh, listen those classes okay if you have the, any doubts and all you can contact us directly so hope you guys will enjoy okay the techniques of chemistry by Pavan sir here okay thank you guys bye take care